This is a portrait of an ant that I'm doing with my um, focus stack system using the Cognosys rail. But for the Cognosys rail, I'm using the R7 and extension tubes and another tube plus a microscope um, objective to get me really close. So the ant, which is a carpenter ant, is inside the dome that provides diffusion and it's on a cork on an insect pin and it's glued and so to do this i'm using the cognosis rail cognosis rail is set at auto distance at a distance of 27 microns it's like 217 pictures and it'll take over a half hour to do that and so i'm using a total of three lights to do this um, and let's see what it comes out at the end I am doing a portrait in side view of a carpenter ant. The carpenter ant is on an insect pin. It's actually glued to it and it's sitting in cork. It's kind of hard to see, but for this particular run, I'm using the Canon R7 that has um, a series of two extension tubes plus a long tube and a microscope objective an APO, I forget what the, 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 the magnification is on it, but that really allows you to get really close. So for this particular um, setup, I'm using the Cognosis rail. The Cognosis rail for this particular image is set at auto distance, moving in increments of 27 microns. So it's gonna take a total of about 217 images and it's gonna take about a half hour to do this. So in this setup, uh, which I've described before, I'm using four Alien B lights. So I'm using the one on the left and the right for left and right fill. And then I'm using the one in the middle, which is just gonna give it a little bit of punch over the dome that's there. And then another one for rim light in the back. So that dome is an old style of light fixture. But instead of being glass, it's plastic. So I've cut it out so the objective could fit through that hole, which provides a lot of diffusion. And so the way the rail works is when you've set it at that distance, there's no way that the human hand can move in increments that are precise of 27 microns. So what you do is you pit the front focus, which I use the outer tip of the antenna, and then I zoomed in and picked kind of like the hair on the fringe on the side of the head. And so as the image, each image is taken, the rail, you could hear it, well, it's kind of hard to hear. It moves in that little increment and it's taking these images as it's moving along. And in order to light this, you have to um, take everything that you learn about portraiture of humans and miniaturize it and miniaturize it to such a way that you're able to expose so that the entire organism is going to be lit and as you're looking at the screen here as it's moving um, you can see that i'm shooting at 1 60th of a second at iso 100 and the ant is starting to come into a little bit in focus on that tip of the antenna because what i did is the front focus point that I started on was the tip of the antenna right about here. And then I picked the ending focal point on this run of 217 images is this back part here. So as the Cognosis rail does its part and all four lights are continuously taking a picture, um, I'm going to come back in about a half hour and see what happens so what you've got here is the remote wireless trigger for each of these alien bees that i'm using and they've each got a receiver which receives a signal so that they they could fire um and of course when i do this i didn't show you all the way from the beginning but i use a rather high iso in order to be able to see it because you can't normally uh, and you have to pump the ISO to see it and then let it run. And as it's running, more and more of it starts to become visible. And here in this particular image, you can see a lot of it starting to come in. So we'll come back 
process the images a little bit later as the machine does its work so show you what a portrait of a carpenter a carpenter and head looks like in profile it's about halfway through still need about a hundred more pictures um, and you could start to see here as the run is going through this a lot more of the ants starting to become visible so curiosity is what it will be when it finally processes at the end decided to come back and drop it down to 15 microns to see if more pictures would give me detail and indeed in theory that actually would so that's at 15 microns spaced apart 325 pictures so here on the screen my settings are of course it's going to be f0 because that is a manual lens at 160 is the shutter speed and the iso it's 160 you could see that possibly there may be um more detail but that remains to be seen once i run the next step which is is um helicon focus to see if that actually gave us um more detail but in running this the only other thing that i did is i switched one light from one side to the other so that the dome would get the snoot and the right side of the image would get a honeycomb gray but it's still the four lights that have been used to photograph this and you can't really tell but you can hear how it moves in that little distance it's very slight noise because it's only 15 microns in space that it's moving as it continues i then take all of the images which in this case were 325 and I bring them into Helicon Focus. And on Helicon Focus, I usually use method B and I start to render. And so what that does is it takes all of those images and it starts analyzing them. So it's going through every single one of them and it's probably building a map through the algorithm. Um, and in that, it's taking all of those images and building it from the first focal point to the last one. And it takes a little bit and then it, it starts to come up showing all the details. And it showed the antenna first because that was my first focal point. And it starts taking the images and stack them towards the back. And as it continues to do that, it then gives me that final image, which is this one that I then took into Photoshop to get rid of some of the highlights and to make the background uniform and black so that it gave us a very nice resulting image with a lot more detail than one photograph could ever get.